Okay, and welcome back for the continuing story of rescuing Justin. And as we left off on the last one, we just found out that Concord had died when the um, when they took Anne. So now we're back here to find out what our next step will be. Whoops, wrong one. So let's see what Fripp wants us to do now. Because that just kind of threw a real big screw in our plans. Hi guys, I'm here. Well, let me get a little closer to her so I can get her to talk. Still not close enough. Okay, there we go. What is wrong, Boone? Was the plan not a success? This revelation is far worse than we could have hoped for. But it's not the end of the Soul Riders. What are you talking about? Even if we found another way to open the gate and rescue Anne... How would we com how are we complete without Concord? You haven't told them, have you, Elizabeth? Told us what? It is time you know the truth about the horses you ride. Let me tell you about star breeds. The main story will go on in coming game upgrades until they... Okay, see, now that's no longer effective because this was... This has already been done. Throughout history, in time of crisis, a sisterhood of soul riders has risen to the face... Has risen to face the darkness... Chat with Avalon. Starshine Meteor Tin Can. The three of you are not the first to ride these horses as soul riders, just as Anne was not the first to ride Concord. But you told me I was destined to ride Tin Can, that no one but me could be his rider. And that is true for this incarnation of Tin Can. There have been many tin cans before him, just as there have been many incarnations of Starshine, Meteor, and Concord. Four spirits reborn throughout time since the coming of Aideen. The Guardians. So the Guardians are Starbreeds? Not exactly. A Starbreed is a horse blessed by Aideen's light, with the potential to carry a Guardian spirit. Starbreeds can only be found on Yorvik. They are very rare, but not so rare as the Guardians themselves. There are other star breeds on Yorvik. In fact, Nina, the moon there, rides one as well. Echo Warrior is a star breed? Mm -hmm. That explains what went down at Dark Core Base with the flying and all. Wheeze. Poor Fripp. Fripp. Poor Fripp. Hey, there's other people in here. <laughs> Who am I supposed to talk to now? Oh, Avalon. Hmm. His breathing grows ever fainter. Hmm. Fripp's condition has been growing steadily worse ever since he used his magic to destroy the Keystone. I feel so powerless to help him. At least I can try to keep him comfortable. Moon, could you fetch a pillow from over by the bookshelf there? Fetch a pillow from the bookshelf and bring it back. There it is. Oh, I thought she might see something while she was getting the pillow. <laughs> Thank you, Moon. There, my little friend. Sleep and be well. All we can do now is wait and hope in Aideen's light to restore him. No, there are other ways. Hmm? 
I'm worried about Fripp, too. But right now, we have to do what we can to find Concord. It's what the little guy would want. Follow up with Alex. Let me try and recap. So the Concord we know is gone. But because he is a guardian, his spirit lives on. And now we need to find the star breed that will become the new Concord. Oh, yeah. Precisely, Alex. You've always been a quick learner. You'll make a fine druid someday. Banana. Herman, he's the one we, who found Starshine, right? He can help. Banana. Herman has helped fulfill his day, his duty from nearly 40 years. However, Banana. his gift has waned in recent years, which is why he has been helping the keepers in other ways. There is another member of our order who shares the gift of wild whispering. Rian, while her gift is not as strong as Herman, at his prime, she is our best chance of finding Concord. Yeah. She's not another weirdo exile like Evergrey, is she? <laughs> hey, I'm still here, you know. <laughs> Alex and Moon meet with Rian at the mountain Pada, and Moon, be sure to bring Echo Warrior for the lesson. Dana. What about me? Asma. I have another mission for you, Lisa. Rian, the Wild Whisperer, huh? I can't wait to meet her. Tin Can and I will meet you at the paddock. Speak with Rian at the mountain paddock in the foothills. <clears throat> All right. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here before I boogie out of here. Okay, nobody's got a mark on them? All right, let's go. Okie dokie, I'm on my way. I will be right there. Okay, so if you don't know where she's talking about, you're in the circle here, right? You have to go up here. <clears throat> And it's the beautiful paddock that's up here. I remember the first time Elizabeth took me up to this place for lessons. As do I. You nearly got my tail burned off. Hey, cut me some slack. I've never been on a horse until fate brought the two of us together like peanut butter and Vaseline. Don't remind me. Concord had things so much easier with his rider. Anne has a is a, was a natural equestrian. Not that I'd want such a strict rider. You're much easier to push around. <laughs> Keep talking, old timer. I dare you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, come on. Don't want to keep her on waiting. Looks like there's other people doing this quest, too. Moon, Alex Cloudmill. Welcome to Starbreed Book Boot Camp. Hope you had breakfast, because it's going to be a long day. My name is Rhiannon, and as Elizabeth probably told you, I'm a wild whisperer. What is a wild whisperer anyway? I like like a talent scout for horses. A wild whisperer is someone with a gift for communicating with horses, especially those breeds closest to Aideen, found only here on Yorvik. Like how me and Tin Can have total simpatico. Look at me, hey Tin Can, I'm a I'm wild whispering to you with my outside voice. Groan. <laughs> See? Bet you didn't know a horse could groan. Wild Whisperer nailed it. 
Yeah, how do I put this? As a soul rider, your gift is special. A soul rider is fated by Adine's will to bond with only one horse. You may be one of Adine's chosen champions, but for this mission, Alex, you're playing backup. <clears throat> but what about Neat Moon? She has special bond, too, with Echo. Elizabeth tells me Moon possesses the ability to bond with any horse. Is this true, Moon? Do you feel the connection with horses other than Echo? I, uh, let's try this one. All horses. Either you have the gift for Wild Whisper or you're just horse crazy. Oh, I guess I answered that right. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. <clears throat> Cannot do this on horseback. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What do we do now? Moon, I'm going to need to work with you and your horse. Would you mind introducing him to me? Walk across the paddock to the place Leon indicated, then use the mysterious substance she gave you to eat. Echo, isn't it? Aren't you a big, strong boy? Moon is lucky to have found someone like you. Moon, take this bag. Walk to the other side of the paddock, and when you get... Now, they're just saying the same thing they just told me to do. It's powerful druid magic, but if you follow my directions exactly, you'll be fine. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Okie dokie. Why did she crouch? Stand up. Suck it up, girl. Drink that down. Whatever you do, do not drink all of it. Now you tell me. <laughs> I'm joking. It's only sugar. Haha, <laughs> did you think I would poison you? All right, now close your eyes. I want you to concentrate on the taste in your mouth. Are you doing it? Now think about who else might enjoy some of those tasty sugar cubes. Would Echo? What do you think, Echo? Don't you wish it was you eating those sugar cubes instead of Moon? <laughs> do you see it? Focus. You see it, don't you? You do have the gift. You were able to sense Echo because the sugar cubes helped to focus a need. At that moment, you had the thing that Echo craved most, sugar. <clears throat> oh, no. Looks like Echo has a sweet tooth. It seems my little exercise created a rift between you two. We can't have that. No need to torture Echo. Plenty of sugar cubes where those came from. Here, take these and give your boy a snack. Echo enjoyed his treat. Glad I could help you to mend your friendship. I don't get it. What does a horse's sweet tooth have to do with wild whispering? Like I said, the sugar cube represented a need. It was a way to help Moon focus on truly seeing Echo. Many horses, but starbreeds in particular, have a need to find the rider with whom they will bond. The feeling I had when I first met Tin Can... Can you see it? Indeed, it is a recognize it. It is recognizing the need that helps a wild whisper of fine star breeds.
You have to be mounted for this part. Okay. We should be more. We should do one more test before beginning our search. Follow the magic aura to the star breed. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes again. And while they're closed, I'm going to set up a little test for you. Go ahead and close them. When I give the word, open your eyes. Then use the focus I showed you before. Only this time, instead of thinking of sugar, think about the feeling you had when you first met Echo. Do you think you can do that? <clears throat> Open. Follow the aura before it disappears. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. Oh, see, this is where I need my my mouse. Is it another one now? Yep, over there. Hurry up. found a star breed. Oh, look at the cute little baby. 